It's so twisted, the government won't secure the border, is fighting Texas to prevent them from doing it as well. I know, sadly, that's exactly right. Uh, Joe Biden and the congressional Democrats, they've created this chaos at the open border. They've opened up the border. They've opened up our nation to an invasion, 10.4 million illegal immigrants under Joe Biden. And, and their priority is standing with the human traffickers, standing with the drug traffickers. The federal government, instead of fighting to secure our borders, is fighting the state of Texas, trying to stop Texas from protecting our sovereignty. I, I am glad my state of Texas is leading the fight here. We're going back and forth, and, and we're, we're meeting them in court. Yeah. But at every step, if Joe Biden has a choice between standing with the American people or the, or the human traffickers, he picks the traffickers. Of course he does. If you are able to deport, if, if this is one, um, you have another problem. Mexico says they don't want them. And we have no leverage over Mexico now because everybody walks all over this country with Joe Biden in charge. Where does that leave Texas at that point? Well, look, it's a real problem, and, and you compare it to when Donald Trump was president. AMLO, the president of Mexico, yeah. was terrified of Trump. And, and Trump was able to negotiate the Remain in Mexico agreement because Trump used leverage, threatened tariffs against Mexico unless they worked with us to secure the border. And that's how we got it done. That's how we got the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. When Joe Biden came in, he is so weak, he is so ineffective, he is rolled over, and every enemy of America is stronger. And I'll tell you, the government of Mexico, AMLO is an anti-American leftist, and he yeah. views Biden as utterly weak. And, and that's a fundamental problem. We need a president who's strong, yeah. who our are, who are friends respect and our enemies fear. It, it, it's starting to feel like no matter what, what really happens, we're not going to see a lot of progress at the border until hopefully late January of uh, next year uh, is what we're And I'll make a prediction for, for you. Yeah. When Trump yeah. comes into office, the problem at the border will be fixed like it'll, that it'll immediately be yeah. because the thing that matters is when people come, if they discover when they come, they get put on a plane and sent home, the volume stops instantaneously. Yeah. We saw that with Trump the first term, we'll see it again. Yeah, yeah we can only hope. Uh, I want to talk about Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, spoke today at a GOP Senate lunch and video conference. Uh, but uh, Chuck Schumer, uh, no interest in letting him speak in front of the Senate. The Biden White House is over this man. They're over Israel. They need to get about 100,000 votes, uh, Muslim votes in Minnesota and Michigan. Uh, for Schumer to say that he can't speak to the Senate uh, in this moment, your thoughts? I, I think Schumer's behavior and the behavior of Democrats is utterly disgraceful. It was very good speaking with Prime Minister Netanyahu. He is a good friend. I've spent a lot of time with yeah. Bibi. Uh, we had the opportunity to ask a series of questions. I told him at the time in this conversation at lunch, I said, Mr. Prime Minister, the people of America, the people of Texas, stand with the people of Israel resolutely. Do not listen to the media that is attacking you. We are with you. We are with you and your goal yeah. to utterly eliminate Hamas. That is good for Israel and it's good for America. And, and I asked in particular, I think what Chuck Schumer did last week, standing on the Senate floor and demanding the overthrow of the democratically elected leader of Israel was utterly disgraceful. It has never happened before in our nation's history. And Schumer didn't call for the overthrow of the leadership of Hamas or Iran or Russia or China or North Korea or Venezuela just the democratically elected leadership of the only Jewish nation on earth. Yep. It was incredibly harmful. And I'll tell you, Rob, here's the real problem. A lot of folks have, have focused on the squad, the, the rabid anti-Semites in the, in the House. But they're not the big problem. The big problem is the squad are no longer outliers with the Democrat Party. That's exactly The right. problem is the so-called mainstream yeah. Democrats, like Chuck Schumer, the majority leader, and, and Joe and Biden, look, the president, the yeah. White House, echoed Schumer's call, they're abandoning Israel as well, and that is profoundly troubling and it's dangerous. They need voters in Omar and Tlaib's district, and that's why. Yep. And that's exactly why yep. they're starting to sound like the squad. That's how bad it is. Senator Cruz, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Rob.